it is not important for political parties, it is more important for the people of South Africa. Because you remember that prior to 1994, the African um, community was not allowed to be part of any decision making. So the government was run by a certain race where Africans did not have a say on who must govern or who must do what. Now we saw through negotiations, but that came after there were a lot of massacres and At home, it is. I was checking if voters are registered to vote through the SMS. So, curiously, I just had my crew. own ID number. And I realized that no, man, I've been moved to another bit. Of course, it's going to give us another line. line. Maybe if people did not check their prior, like me, That's I checked it. myself accidentally. So if I didn't line. check, I was going to go to the other bit. Only to be told, no, you're not registered to vote here. Fortunately for me, I've got a car. I can move from that bit to the other. All along, it just. Because now, people generally then get despondent and they yes. go back home. So, this floating out is the making of the IEC. So, the IEC has not made things easy for people to really go and register to vote. Because when we get there, the device is not working. When we get there, after waiting for a long queue, we are told, no, you're not registered in this vote station, you must go to another vote station. That is very unfair to the people. That is very unfair to the voters of South Africa. And you can't really blame them. Of course, our people are tired. Because Omo, ne, pak is so generally, our people's morale is very low. Because they are not getting the services. Politicians come in day in, day out, uh, asking for the vote. Only they vote them when there's voting. So our people generally, the morale is very low. They cannot, um, they ignore, don't want to vote. Yeah. And we take effort to go and convince these voters to go and vote. Only for okay. them, when they get to the voting station, the device is not working. They must wait for the Or they are not voting at all. And this issue of the voters all again. We raised this issue during the registration weekend when the devices were not working to say to the IEC, IEC, how are you going to make sure that these people are actually registered? Yeah, when I'm when you get to the, 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 the devices are not working during the election weekend, and people 
were registered by hand. It's possible. A piece of paper. And we lost a complaint. Okay. Yeah. How such a thing? I think they are calling Previously, okay. this used to be a registered manual. Hold on. But there was an, a, a sticker that gets stuck on your ID. Hey, Mike. Now there's no, there's no proof that you've registered. Because they said to the people, Italian. you receive an SMS. Okay, now, Italian. they promise that people are going to register those people on the Monday and they receive an SMS later. Okay. Then what happens when you yeah. don't receive an SMS? And the, has, uh, the registration has already closed. That's yes, but in Milan. Yeah. Because how do you get turned back at a voting booth? No ordinary citizen will just go to a voting station when they know that they are not registered to vote. They oh, okay. voting before. They know that they are registered to vote. So what if I so when do I that? I'm talking about myself that I was moved from my own view, okay. but I took it because then I said uh, it, it is what you I'm getting 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 I have you the registration check and I, uh, I, I, I was confronted yeah. with of these challenges as well. I mean, I went to register and what I found was that the device is... How much time? So my registration uh, actually took place. How much would it take? It was uploaded into the system much later on. And I also had certain challenges with the online application system. Uh, but you see, okay. you see these issues were... <laughs> But they are was the IEC? so they are stretching. Yeah. They are yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. They are not used to the stretching it as much as possible. We have to the survive. The so it's a deployment by the ANC to bring them here to the IEC so they can frustrate the system and, uh, and uh, with the hope that people will not vote and they will have, they will still retain the municipalities. But we are sending a very strong message to the IEC to say we are the stakeholders. It is us who must declare this election free and fair. It is not the IEC that is going to declare the elections here because they can't be free and they can't be <coughs> They must make it easy for us to declare the elections free and fair. We want to declare them free and fair, but they must then be free and fair because we are a party that brings the truth to power. We will not be uh, dilly dally about what the issues are confronting. So if we feel that the system is not free and fair, we will say it. It is not fair currently for our voters, honestly, to leave their homes and go and queue in long queues. Under the, the hot sun of this country, only to be turned away. It is not fair. The IEC must really up their game and make things easy for our people and easy for us also. Yes, of course, and uh, you know, it's important that you also mention uh, the challenges that we faced in this result. It's important that we're just walking away and opting not to actually pass the vote in order. Of course, this is quite disheartening. But at the same time, I think we've noticed this trend of voter apathy. Especially amongst young South Africans. What does the EFF have to say to us? Look, um, generally, the, 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 